buffering, buffering, buffering. Let's see if this gets any better. What just happened to my... What? Let's try that again. Speed boost on. Boost. There we go. Should stay on. Okay. Finally, think I fixed it. Here we go. <laughs> Goodness. I need. To, I really need to hardwire in. I'm just a little bit too far away from the house where it actually comes in and sometimes it poses some issues. Oh, there it goes again. Hello. It's one of those days where everything's going wrong. Now the camera's dying. I haven't had it plugged in. Don't worry, I'm coming right back. Also a dead battery. One more battery. Whew. Got some life on this one. Okay, here we go. There we go, boost mode. Okay. I will win. I will not give up. And it's charging. There we go. Ah, oh, just one second. I think we'll be able to actually get this inked. Uh, this is a tribute tribute piece that I'm working on. Just found out the original actor of Vader actually passed away. And uh, getting some some messages. Anyway, I thought I'd do a a piece of him actually partially in the mask.
There we go. Got a new like. Jason Gert, what's up, my friend? How in the world are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope your family's doing great. Had a good Thanksgiving. It's been a little while since I've seen you. Just about ready to ink this. I think it'll really start coming together once I do that. Getting some visitors. What's up, Jacob? Yo, can you sing the national anthem? <laughs> He's just. Oh my goodness. Joe Exotic, what's going on, man? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the last? And the home of the brave, home of the brave. There, I did it. So, Jacob, you're good to go. <laughs> I told you I'd do it. Just a matter of waiting. Just a second. Afternoon football games aren't catching my attention, so I came here. Yeah, I hear you. I was watching the uh, uh, which game was that? The Vikings. I'll take them inside. You guys go inside, or you can play outside. Play oh, outside. I'm live. I gotta finish this. Come on. You're interrupting everything. Come on. We'll take them inside. We'll take them inside. You lost your chance. Ah. I let, I let the kids come in quite often, but sometimes they're a little too much while I'm trying to finish something or work. So I try to dedicate that time to everybody. Yeah, I know what you mean about the football games, man.
All right. Let's ink this. Let's ink this. I think I'm doing a mixture of, I'm penciling to get the main ideas down, but I'm leaving a little bit of space to do the rest. All right, I could do this ink pen. Now let's do 0 0.05 first. Let's take off a little bit of the top. Jacob, did you get that? What'd you think? Did you like it? <laughs> I know you were asking for me to do it. Finish this up right here, and then I'm going to go work out. That's what I'm going to do. It's about time to work out, so. All right, let's let her rip. Where to begin is the question. Usually I try to make sure that the eyes do look right. If I can get the eyes, then I've got everything else lined up very well. Let's see, what games have, have you sing the National Anthem at? Oh, um, let's see. I have done the Warriors game a couple of times. Golden State Warriors, uh, the Clippers. Um... Atlanta Falcons, Dallas Cowboys game. Um, Orlando Magic, Milwaukee Bucks. A uh, couple of, uh, let's see, even WNBA, like the Suns, 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 Connecticut Suns, something like that. Um, let's see. Florida Panthers hockey. Um, LA Galaxy football team. Uh, the Spurs. Um, I know there's a few more. I'm not thinking of but those are those are a good few. Uh, why do you ask, Jacob? Why do you ask? Just curious? <clears throat>
Were you at one of the games? Who's your favorite team? Let's see. What games have you seen the national? Which sport? Uh, Joe Exotic. What do you mean, which sport? Uh, like, how, which sports have I done? Uh, you know, basketball, football, hockey, baseball. Um, did an SEC championship baseball. Um, professional bull riding in Vegas. World champion game. Um... Oof. Let's see, quite a few basketball teams. But uh, minor league hockey has been the biggest as far as the most places we've gone. Paper sliding around everywhere. Should have taped it down. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's see. Um, sorry, Joe Exotic. Uh, let's see. Which sport team is your favorite? But. Ooh, we got a new like. Let's see. Abby Bags has liked the stream. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't forget, you can join me over on Twitch and YouTube as well if you are uh, got an account over there. And I keep up with the chat over there quite a bit as well. Or I guess we have a community over there, I should say, that you can get to know, and it's a lot of fun. Um, let's see. How about... We start with, what's your favorite sport, Joe Exotic? I was asking Jacob, Jacob and Joe Exotic, are you the same person? <laughs> uh, if not, then both of you, you can answer, please. What's, what is your favorite sport? Uh, I just watched the Tyson fight, by the way. It was very entertaining, very fun. All 
this is going to be very simple. Quite simplified. Favorite sport to watch is hockey, but favorite sport to play is basketball. Nice. Very cool. You know what? I'm like pretty much the same. So hockey was probably my favorite to watch as well, um, especially live and in person as well. I think it's just extremely exciting. I don't know if that's exactly what you meant. I mean, overall, maybe just ex you know your favorite one to watch would make sense. But even for television viewing... And that kind of thing. Football is kind of close for me. I actually enjoy college football more than NFL most of the time. There can be a better game on uh, in uh, on an NFL game, um, and I understand that the players are obviously uh, pro and um, and all that. But there's just something about the passion of some of the young guys um, and gals in college sports that is really inspiring and um, a little different. Uh, basketball, for instance, to me in the past has seemed a little bit like, I don't know, they're, they're amazing humans. They're, and, and a lot of them have extreme talent and it's gotten better through the years, but there was a period in there where I was kind of over it, like over basketball, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Um, but probably shouldn't be saying this as I'm oftentimes paid to come out and I have some I'm not saying I hate basketball I love basketball but uh, and singing the national anthem at a basketball game is very different too I really like doing that but it's just something about it it's kind of hard to explain right now but Uh, so you play basketball. What, uh, if you don't mind my asking, you don't have to answer, but what level uh, do you play? Just like for fun, you playing in, you know, college, high school. What's your, uh, your proficiency with that? I played, I played college volleyball. It's on the men's volleyball team. And it was awesome. I loved it. As a matter of fact, Joel Gert was just on a second ago. He was also on the team. better player than I was too I didn't grow up around the sport but a number of the staff kids I think kind of did and uh, it was really fun to learn but I felt like I was kind of worlds behind in picking up on the game if I'm honest
all the sports have their different kind of focal points. Hockey was always really fun to do, to be like on the glass or to watch live like that, even get on the ice a little bit. Not while they're playing, but, you know, they have little giveaways or throw t-shirts or do little mini competitions out on the ice. I just love the environment. I like the the cold. I like the, I like, I like the whole feeling of it. I just do. There we go. Uh, just casual. I'm 5'7", so I'm kind of limited on my athleticism. <laughs> hey, no worries, man. I'm actually right at six foot. Um, and when I played volleyball, these guys were just leaping out of the building. Like, I was probably more impressed with them than, I think it was just because it was mostly unexpected, but still, I was probably more impressed with them than I was with the basketball team's hops, <laughs> to be honest. Some of these guys were just nuts. One guy, Trent Heron, who was just a year older than me in my class, could really, really get up. It's still fun to play though, right? Even if it's casually or whatnot. So I'm gonna try out this new pen. I loved it on my last project. I'm gonna see if I still do. <laughs> um, it is a Pentel, by the way. Um, Pentel, it's from Japan. It's ink, you get these cartridges, they're like this. And it tells you which way, like this. Boop. And when you screw on the back, it pokes the hole, if you will, and punctures it and allows it to go in. It's a synthetic, synthetic brush, but it is super, super clean and super black and all of that, and I think really effective. So I think for a piece like this, it's going to really be, come in handy and be a pretty powerful piece to use. So tool rather I'm gonna give it a go today you can get really textured looks if you want and you can also get a really fine line if you need to Go. 
I haven't tested to see if it is waterproof. That's another thing I have to check still. But And that's key, by the way, in case I want to do like watercolor or something like that. Now usually I can move the page around a little bit, but in this case I'm not doing that. I love how black the ink is. It looks really nice as far as that goes. I can get texture if you want I need it to be pretty clean straight black but you can get a pretty dark look Battle Queen, what's up? I see the little, what is that, Pikachu? How was your game? You still in it? Ah. 
I like the, the varying of the line weight. Makes it interesting to look at and a little more artistic. Someone just tried to sign in as me in China on my Instagram. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, hey, Joe, is season two of The Mandalorian complete now? Uh, that's a really good question. I should know that, and I don't. I don't think it's done. I think there's still some more. I hope there is. I was expecting there would be more. Let me put on my two-factor authentication here so that people stop trying to get into my account. Duh. Now that I said that out loud, everyone's racing to go get onto my account. There we go. Get my code. There we go. It's on. I don't I don't think it's complete. I thought there was more. I'll be really sad if they're if they're done though. I got me nervous that maybe they aren't. Doing any more. All right, final, final little section here that I think will really bring this. Really together. There we go. I feel like, yeah, that's a little bit out there, isn't it? So we're going to go like this. Boop. Oh, that's a beautiful line. Look at that. Man, that's awesome. This is where I'm blending in the hair using faster strokes to create some different looks. that up now though. Uh, Joe, have you been keeping up? Joe Exotic, have you been keeping up with the show?
Dude, it is one of the best shows ever. Yeah, so this ink pen has cartridges that comes with it. There are these Pentel cartridges from Japan. Um, I mean, that's who makes them. Pentel, I forgot the name of the, the actual pen. but it's, it's really, really clean and beautiful. I love it. I love the lines it creates and everything. You can see it. I mean, in the variations of the, the hits, it'll grab. You can get really fine lines or you can get textured lines. You can also add, like here, I'll show you, like a little, little skin wrinkle and texture just hit it like that boom boom as crazy Ru russian hacker would say boom uh which happens to be a really cool youtube guy that i love um watching his show and everything it's just really good his channel I like the texture, but it definitely needs, there we go, be filled in a little bit more. There we go. I still haven't decided, so something, you know, is happening here where I probably just need to make him really dark there, make it really dark. We'll see. Boom. Now, a couple of things can happen here. One, I make it darker over here. which I'm gonna do anyway, it looks like. Still, I'm happy with a pattern. I'll keep messing with it. Um, but then I'm going to bring this into the darkness as well. And I will probably make up some things in here.
There we go. All right. Give me a second. time I think it's about that time supper supper Yeah, it's a really, really good show. I highly recommend it. It's it's honestly kind of like a spaghetti western in space. Feels a lot like that. Mixed with other things, too. I think its strength lies in its... Simple and yet very interesting storyline. It's fun to, um, as a Star Wars fan, to be able to see some of the connections being made from different eras of Star Wars and whatnot, different storylines and things that exist. I think I think that's really cool. I really feel like the screen could be. Let me configure the video. It could be a little bit more. Ooh, not in contrast. I guess not. I'll leave that alone. Hmm. Uh oh. I think the dog got into some chips. I guess it's fine how it is. I wish it were just a little bit more. The blacks were a little truer.
And we lost the, the screen, didn't we? Shouldn't be because it's dead. Ah, but it might be. All right, it's a good breaking spot anyway. I'm going to take a break and let things charge, let things get back to how they should be, and I'm going to come back tonight, probably around 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, it's been really good. Sorry guys for the choppiness and everything that's gone on with the stream. I finally got it smooth again and finally felt like I made some headway. I'm going to finish up these two dark areas here, probably off camera, but that'll be it. And then I'm going to probably put some color on it. Just want to do a quick little thank you uh, to the guy who played um, uh, Vader and his, he's passed away. I've got it in my title. I just want to make sure I pronounce his name right. But uh, um, other than that, I'm really excited about doing some more. David Prouse, I think is how you say his name, died at 85. And uh, really cool to be able to have, I don't know, um, experienced all the fun and movie magic that he was a part of. So I'm going to keep continuing this just a touch, like I said, in here. And then we'll get to a good spot and see. Um, I'll probably just keep it a monochromatic ink job. Maybe add a little bit of red somewhere, possibly, but it's really more of a thank you kind of piece. So I don't really feel like making it all epically dark and stuff because he's obviously passed on. So anyway, thanks again. Yes, thanks, Valor Queen, for stopping by. See you, Joe Exotic. Stop by again around 9 30, 10 o'clock if you see it on. A uh, great way to kind of end your night and watch some art or whatever take place. So, and if you got any other questions, let me know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I uh, love you all. Have a good night.